Hello there, I'm Luke and we are at His Majesty's Theatre in Aberdeen and I'm going to show you around uh, the company of Let It Be. Welcome to my dressing room, we've got all sorts going on. Uh, essentially, Luca's aid is what keeps me going through the show. Uh, but the wigs, the ever so wonderful wigs, and uh, not forgetting such beautiful pink costumes as this, uh, which you will see me wearing in the second act. What I'm most chuffed about this, this is actually, this is my my pink pepper outfit. And what I like most about this thing is that uh, it was made for us by the same guy that made the Joker outfit for the Batman film, for Heath Ledger's Joker outfit. How cool is that? So I'm practically a, a pink super villain when I do this show. This is where we transport all of our costumes. Um, you've got, a, got some of, this is, this is a George Harrison number, uh, ever so lovely. Uh, what else have we got? Not forgetting the uh, very famous look of the Beatles with the jacket, the black jackets. So every week they all get transported in this. We're only in a venue for one week at a time, which is pretty quick. And here we are in front of the stage at His Majesty's Theatre. You can see, you know, this is what's going on. You've got your mics on the front, TV screens at the top. I don't think the radio actually works, but the TV certainly uh, come on. Um, got it all going on. You see, at the moment you're seeing the piano on stage which uh, arrives at the Sergeant Pepper type era, so. <laughs> right, onto the stage. Quiet please, no smoking, no drinking, certainly no alcohol. So this is where all the fun happens. Ross, this is Ross. He's in charge of all sorts of wonderful things, specifically cameras. Keeps us all uh, looking good on the screens. You can see the screens all here. Emily calls the show, so uh, basically if we don't get lit, lit up in time or something happens, it's Emily's responsibility to sort it out. So give us an example of what you do. So uh, at a certain musical point I'll ask um, either Alex, sound, flies or spots or stage to do something and the signal to do whatever they're going to do is a go. We've got cue lights here, Let's light up, um, get the red, they'll respond. Give a green, let's go, so we've got a verbal answer. But you're not really allowed to say go, are you? When, well, you when we're talking about we're it, you've got to say geos. geo. We talk about geos, especially Just so no one actually sets Just it off. Just in case, because otherwise you might end up with something you don't want on your head. There you go. Yeah, which wouldn't be good. No. I'll tell you what is interesting about this theatre is that it's on a slope. Um, and I wasn't expecting that when I first got up on the drum riser. Uh, and it started to move. So His Majesty's Theatre has been quite rocking, quite literally. Yo, come over here, mate. This is uh, this is Dean. He Hello. makes he makes it all work for us. He tunes the guitars, tunes the drums. If, that, if something goes wrong during the show, the this guy runs on and sorts it out <laughs> to the point where if a mic is looking like it's fallen over, he's on it. Right. He's absolutely on it. So uh, we couldn't do it without him. Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, come on. Uh, the Act One guitars are on stage. They start off with the Cavern stuff, and it's like the Duo Gen. Uh, Duo Jet and the Country Gent, and these are the Act 2 guitars yeah. uh, for like Sergeant Pepper. This is the Fender Strat that he uses with a custom paint job and stuff. Two to be colourful. Yeah, yeah. And not forgetting the uh, very famous, let's get the hop out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a hop. Oh, there you go. Two, Which yeah. one have I got, the right or the left? The right got the right I've got the right handed hop. Yeah. McCartney famously played the Hofner bass. But you played it left handed, so we've got both right and left because we've got a right handed guy and a left handed guy. Yo. And so, this is uh, the Sergeant Pepper Rick bass that he uses. Yeah. And this is the sort of. What, what guitar is this? This is nice, isn't it? This is actually very pleasant. I, uh, I do like this theatre because it's got four levels, and this is the first theatre we've done that's got the four tiers. So, uh, again, when you've got so many people in, it's, you know. Very loud, very noisy, very good. Explain to us what's going on here. Basically, all we're doing is going for every show, we go through all the microphones um, and all the instruments to make sure that everything's um, working and sounds that it should do before we sort of hand it over to the band. So that when the band come along, everything's working and in good, good condition. Um, what happens if I press delete, 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 enter, enter, enter? Um, I punch you. <laughs> <laughs> A few things happen on this desk. Um, we've got obviously all the inputs and stuff that's happening, all the instruments and, and vocal mics come through the desk, all the processing, all the EQ, all the effects um, to make the beat sounds happen through the desk. Um, we have then two screens here, which is my show control screens. 
Um, and basically that's got all different cues throughout the show, all different numbers, um, all the different sound effects that happen for the stadium cheers and stuff like that. And basically I work my way through the, through the stack like, like Light and do with their stack. And then as you'll see, that will change uh, all the faders as we go through the show. One, two, two, It will change all the settings for me and put things where I need to for each song.